Wow, do we have a beast on the bench today? We have a legendary EMS vocoder 5000. It's incredible. Um, what the hell is that? It's a red arrow. Sorry, guys, I just missed the first formation. There, are the trailers at the end. Sorry about that. Okay, so where are we? Yeah, EMS vocoder 5000. An absolute classic and very rare um, speech input for the microphone. We have a couple of VCOs, and various functions, two ray shapes, um, excitement A and excitement B, noise. I don't even have a manual for this um, output mixer, noise shaper, um, some frequency shifting going on there some mixing outputs between upper and down mix squelch which i think affects the microphone level to it and these are the synthesis input levels i guess they're for the different bands 22 of them you can even connect a keyboard to it and we have this really nice on off switch but unfortunately this is blowing the fuse at the back this is the fuse it's blowing, it's a time lag 500 milliamp. There's some extra outputs there and also some inputs and also envelope outs and control inputs. And this is serial number VOC8. I see someone has put some really nice new screws in here so it should be easy to get apart. back panel comes off oh it's all euro card style that's interesting wonder if it's a bus board or they're wired separately and yeah no bus board so it looks like the connectors must be going straight to wires and then we can see lots of nice old components i wonder how deep down the rabbit hole we're going to have to go there's some hard looking to get hold of transistors nice so I noticed that these two boards here are power supply boards let's just have a quick look it's in quite tight there we go and so we have quite a simple little power board here it's built around some UA723 voltage chips and they've got some bridge rectifiers here so it looks like they must be bringing some AC in and the outputs go to the fuses so the DC is fused which is good to know There's some filtering there and a couple of variable resistors so I presume you can alter the voltage output very nice and let's have a look at the second one and this is fairly similar um, oh oh dear yeah looks like this bridge rectifier is blown there's a crack right in the top of it so I was going to see how far this casing comes out definitely not going to force anything because there's going to be loads of wires yeah I can feel that slightly tugging so um, maybe if we take off this other panel at the top get our first glimpse inside we can see the front panel there and as we expected lots of wires looks very neat though um, I'll see if we can take the lid off <laughs> yeah that looks like it's going to come off okay 
Oh wow. Look at that. Could do with a hinge. This wood is beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can find something to hinge it up with. I think I've got an idea. So I found this wooden spoon. Just got to find a suitable place for it. Not up there. Too risky. Uh, wrong centre of gravity. Oh. Okay, that leaned against there. Excellent. And then we can see inside there's two toroidals um, with some power resistors. So the main power is coming from this section. There's a mains voltage switch there. And have a quick look at the front panel. What a masterpiece. Beautiful. Well, I really hope we don't have to go and touch any of this side. And if we have a look round at the back panel, yep, yeah, all wires. Wow. Very nicely done, though. Lovely. So, if you have a look what we've got here, we've got a very nice loom going to the bulk of that rack, and this shorter, thinner cable here going to connector. So we just need to unconnect that, and then should be able to wiggle this out now. And then we can see the vocoder in all its glory. It's an amazing amount of circuitry they packed in here. So let's take out this bridge rectifier that's blown up. I'm just going to mark it so I know which orientation it is. And I'll do the other one as well. They're not labelled on the top. It's labelled on the sides for us. So there's AC in negative and the AC in positive out. That's really useful. So let's just check that it is shorted. Yep. Yep, she's a goner. Now luckily, because the other side is fused to the rest of the circuit, um, I reckon this is what's taken out the fuse on the back of the unit. Let's get a new one in. go she's in saved me a lot of time backward engineering the circuit um, and this is rated at 1.5 amps so should be great and we'll replace the blown fuse at the back here which is a time lag 500 milliamps and if I can focus the camera you can actually see it's blown so I've got new fuse
and oh it's acting like a momentary switch that's not right switch it off let's just see if that fuse is blown again I'd be surprised if it has no that looks good and the fuses on the PCB are fine uh, let's just put it all back together again huh that's weird now it's working ok I've connected a speaker up and there's some life Oh dear, just died. Not a loose connection. Hmm, I guess check the boards again. So that happened a few times. I would leave it off and when I turn it back on, it would just switch off after about a minute. So I'm actually really suspecting this other bridge rectifier. Um, if they're in a batch, quite chances are um, this one has gone dodgy as well. kind of makes sense because I think it was kind of acting a bit temperamental before it blew the fuse so let's see what happens now I just didn't like the look at those bridge rectifiers at all okay, let's try again Yeah, normally when I flick this switch it would turn itself off. This is looking more promising. In fact, the oscillator sounds stablest they've ever have. Nice. Some noise. This is the longest it stayed on. Yeah, it's funny because the bridge rectifiers were different to the ones on the board that was working. So uh, maybe those ones had been already been replaced. This actually does seem really solid. Okay, but we're not vocoding, so um, I'm going to get a microphone and maybe record something into Logic, and then I can send that out of Logic into its input, and then we can see if we can get the vocoder working. Let's do that.
And so I'm coming out of the lower output and sending the signal into the speech input. if it still works still powers up let me just plug in a speaker and uh, set my little loop off on logic Like I say, I don't have a manual. Not quite sure what I'm doing. Need to find out where the uh, filters are rooted from. And it's also this pin matrix. So you can go into some real depth with this thing. What have I done? Oh. Okay. Now these are triggering the filters. So I'm just using the inbuilt oscillators at the moment, but you you can put your own carrier in here. If I get time, I'll see if I can do a proper demo. Be nice to have a manual though. Uh, that yeah, that determines what sort of frequencies go into the system in the microphone. So it just goes to show a bridge rectifier can blow short um, just with age. And uh, after having swapped that other one out, it's really stable. Fantastic. Catch you next time. Looks good. Ain't gonna get you in the morning,